Hello and welcome. In the previous part of this course we set up everything we needed in the Firebase console. And today we are going to take the next step. We are going to add authentication to our project which includes a sign up form, a login form and a logout button. So let's jump right into it. We need to do one more thing in the Firebase console to make the authentication work. If you log into the Firebase console and click to go to console and select your project. On the left side you can click on authentication and setup sign-in method. In this course we are just going to use email slash passwords. You can click it and enable and save. So now the authentication should be enabled. Now it's time to do some coding. As you can see we have the code from the last part here to the left in the editor and the app is running to the right here. The first you can do is to add one more view called sign up. Inside here we can add a template and an empty div. Just hit save. You need to add this to the router by going down here and say import sign up from. And we also need to add it down here. So just copy this one, paste, sign up, name, sign up, and component sign up. If we say now nothing happens in the app but we can add the sign in to the navigation bar on the top. So open app.view and say router link to sign up save. If I now click sign up we should see an empty page which, which is the sign up page. Then we can go back to the sign up view and add some more code and add the title sign up and we can add a form. We say form at submit dot prevent sign up. When we submit the app we want to prevent the default action Actions isn't used here in view, so we want to call the sign up function instead. In here, we can add two fields for the username and the password, and a button to submit the form. Under the template tag, we can add the script tag where all of the code for the sign up functions will be. This is just the name of the view, but we need a data array to connect these two fields. So say data return email, just an empty string, and an empty string. But we won't need to connect them, so we say v model email v dash model password. This is attribute binding and is used to connect these fields to these variables. When we submit the form we want to call this method so we can add it down here. Methods sign up. We can load to the console just to test that it's working. Save. If I submit now, it should say sign up in the console down here. Next, we can import Firebase to this view and say import Firebase from Firebase. Nothing more than that. And down here, we can say Firebase.auth create user with email and password and the email and password we are going to pass in will be these two so just say this dot email and this dot password to make sure nothing bad happens when we submit the form we say dot catch error alert 
error.message because Firebase sends us a message when we've done something wrong. So if we save now, and if you now try to submit an empty form, we'll get that the email address is badly formatted. That's perfect. Before we do the actual sign up, we can add one more string up here to print out if we are signed in or not. Is authenticated. And we also add this to the array down here. False. Save. And it will say signed in false because we are not signed in yet. To follow the best practices from Firebase, you need to add a listener to our view. So down here we say created, which is one of the life cycles from the view component. And here we say firebase.auth.onauth state changed. And in here we say if user to check that the user actually is authenticated. And then we say this dot is authenticated equals true. So if I go here now and try to create one account, I can just say hello at viewhero.com testing submit. And this will change to true because we are now authenticated. If I refresh the browser, we are still signed in because Firebase handles the sessions for us. Okay, next we can create the login view. So go to views and create new file, login.view. And to make it easier, we can just copy the code from sign up view, paste it here and say login, then change the function to login. We all want the email and the password and submit button still. And this can also be the same. Change the name down here to login. And this can be the same. We can change the function here to login. And here, login. And we can change this to sign in. If I save that now and we go back to the router to import the view, import log in from log in dot view and we can copy this log in log in log in and save you can also add it to the navigation on top save. So if I click login now, you will see the login screen instead of the sign up screen. It still says we are signed in here, down here, so we need to add the log out function so we can test the log in function. So go back to the login.view file and under the signed in we can add a button, say button at click log out. and save. We also need to add the function for the logout down here in the methods log logout console.log logout firebase.auth.sign out. We want to reset the is authenticated variable so we add a promise function down here then this dot is authenticated equals false. So if I save this now and go here and click logout, the sign in will say false. Perfect. So if I try to log in again now with view hello at viewhero.com testing, which was the password I set, submit. This will change to sign in is true. And that was it for this part. I hope you enjoyed it and that you now know how to add Firebase authentication to your projects. Come back soon for the next part where we will install Bulma and set up some of the ground structure for our YouTube app.